to the families who are gathered today in Truro, and to everyone tuning in from across the country, good afternoon, bonjour tout le monde. I know I speak not just for myself, but for so many Canadians in saying, I wish I could be with you in person. Thank you to Jenny Kirstead and the whole team at the Nova Scotia Remembers Legacy Society for putting together this memorial. Jenny, to you and to everyone who had someone taken away last April, your strength and courage are remarkable. I can only imagine how difficult today will be. Even a year later, I know there is no comfort for the anguish of having an adored parent or precious child torn away. I know there are no words for losing a beloved constable and teacher, for mourning respected nurses and corrections officers. So all I can say is this, you are not alone. All Canadians stand with you and grieve with you today and always. This tragedy never should have happened. Not in a place like Porta Pic, not in any community in Nova Scotia, not anywhere in Canada. This act of evil, it will not define the memories of all those we lost a year ago today. It will not define the communities that still grieve them. Instead, we will remember the kindness and joy of each person taken from us and the one life claimed before it could even begin. We will remember the strength of their families, families who shared with me stories I will never forget. We will remember the courage of the first responders who rushed to the scene, and we will remember the grace of Nova Scotians and of all Canadians in standing together to heal. The Nova Scotia Strong signs in the windows, the hearts and messages of support along streets and highways across the country. This speaks to the love that Nova Scotians have for each other and that all Canadians share. The pandemic means that we can't all gather in person to hold each other in grief and healing, but to the families, friends, and the entire community know that today, nothing can keep all of us from holding you in our hearts.